there's a really interesting piece in the New York Times just a couple weeks ago about busyness. And one of the things the writer says is, um, we live in a society where all kinds of folks like to claim that we're busy, but very rarely is it the person that has to ride the bus to take two minimum wage jobs. Um, very rarely is it the nurse that's working triple overtime shifts. Usually it's those of us who have a fair amount of um, options in our lives. And busyness has really become a badge of importance. Because uh, if I'm not busy, well, that means nobody is demanding my time. And if nobody is demanding my time, then nobody wants my time. And if nobody wants my time, then I must not be a very valued person. So I think when it comes to this issue of busyness, we all recognize it. Um, we all recognize that uh, it is a great impediment to spiritual life that for a lot of folks who would, um, you know, reject real clearly sinful ways of driving off a cliff, we will allow ourselves to be severed from a life-giving connection with God on a regular basis just from busyness. And I think the um, starting point is to recognize, uh, why am I allowing myself to be too busy? What is it that I'm feeding on? It's kind of like steroids for the soul. And I'm going to have to probably go through some mourning and some loss that I will have to let go of. And I have to do this on a regular basis. One of the things I do is I meet with one of our staff people and my wife every three weeks, and we just go through schedule stuff. And I won't make commitments without it going through that little kind of clearing team. And that always involves pain. And part of the pain for me is, yeah, but if I don't say yes to this, then I might not be so important. And it's a real good thing for me to have to face up to that. So there may be um, systems like that that you need to put into your life that can help you come to grips with it, and then you'll experience that pain. And then also regularly, I just have to assess, because I think we all have different capacities for activity. Um, and there's an old distinction that's helpful to me. There's a big difference between being busy and being hurried. Uh, being busy is mostly an outward condition. It's, it's a condition of my body is having many things to do. Jesus was often busy. Being hurried is a condition of my soul. When I am hurried, the primary sign of it is I get preoccupied. And I'm preoccupied so that I cannot be simply and quietly present with God and receiving from Him right now, oh yeah, God loves me. So it really doesn't matter how this video is going. Hope it's going good, hope you like it, but you know, it has nothing to do with my worth to God. So if it's not going good, too bad for you. Um, and then when I'm not preoccupied, I'm able to be present with another person. And I can look at you, and I can listen to you, and we all know we get healed when we're with people who are with us, and not just bodies in the same room. And so to get clear on what's the difference between being busy and being hurried and to aim at not necessarily a life that's never busy, Jesus was often busy, but a life that's never hurried, that's the aim, that's the offer.